Hey guys, Language Hacker here. Been climbing some ladder, hit legend playing both Relic DH and this Curse Imp Warlock. This deck's not really that new. It's been hanging around from before the, uh, a couple patches ago as well, but it's still pretty good. Post patch right now. The patch has been out for a little bit, but this deck seems pretty good. Uh, play rate is high, win rate is pretty solid as well. Uh, you have some aggressive zoo game plan here, even with the Vile Library nerf that happened a while back. This deck still does kill stuff like Druid, for example, and occasionally Demon Hunter as well. Um, and other decks. But the idea is you still have your aggressive tempo game plan where you can kill your opponents with one drop into buffs and, and so on. And then you fall back on a curse game plan. Push some early chip damage and then kill your opponents with curses. Drag below, Abyssal Waves, a cool. Uh, Lady Darkfane as well has been doing very, very well in the games that I've been playing. And a couple of other finishers. Tamsin for card draw, Reform for some refill. Um, I'm not going to talk about the list too much, but your mulligan is pretty much just the early tempo cards. Look for one drops, look for Vi Library. Uh, and Fiendish Circle, because you just get on the board quickly, deal some chip damage, contest board against your opponent, and then you fall back with some of your controlly tools to help clear the board if your opponent tries to out-tempo you, and to just do damage without having a board already. Get the chip damage in before your opponent can remove your threats, and then once your opponent can remove your threats, um, poke them from far away with curses. Um, here's some cool games. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel, and happy climbing. Enjoy the deck. Keep an eye out for some mini set videos that I'll be putting out shortly about new cards that are being released. Who cares about winning? It's an off-season. We don't know what competitive looks like, if it exists next year. So like, meh, might as well have some fun. Um, let me not keep Catastrophe. I feel like I want to fight for Tempo against Hunter first, and I'm on one with one drop, so let's look for Synergy. 66% lethal. Okay, so it's it is 66 still. So. Oh, they only had yeah yeah. So it was the uh, it was the egg and the uh, the other thing. Right, right, right. Ah, ah, I see you I really hope I didn't scare that guy off after I destroyed that it wasn't lethal. Like I actually really don't mind that they said it was lethal and it wasn't. It's not that big of a deal. Wow, having uh, no play here was not very good. I think I'm supposed to trade. Because if they buff this and then kill, I'm kind of screwed. You and I have a very slow hand. So I should chill. What is it? Wow, that's incredibly bad for me. I wanted to Grimoire, but I can't do that here. I guess I'm killing one. This is actually the worst possible hand I could have with this deck, huh? That's kind of interesting. It's not true. Uh, but it's not far off, actually. But it's also not true. I didn't even actually look at this deck list. This is running a few fewer minions than I expected. I don't want to use both drag blows because I have the Tamsin. So I'm kind of tempted to hold on to the second one. Um, so I could have tapped here and then just found something to Grimoire, but I don't want to give them extra cards. <laughs> I considered playing some imps. I have considered that, and I came to the conclusion that I'd rather not. Um, if I had to choose a deck that I do enjoy right now, what would I tell you? Let me think about that. I did have fun with Thief Priest, because it's a bit of a control -y deck, and I do like control archetypes. I don't think it's, like, super top tier. I think it's a good deck. But it's, uh, it's been hard. They play control X. Yeah, that's kind of my feeling too. Wild Spurs. I could go Champs and Grimoire, I guess. It looks like I'm going Champs and Grimoire because I have nothing else to do right now. It really sucks. Like, I have to get rid of these and I don't have many other plays. Haven't heard of me. And we kind of just need to sit tight because we have the Tamsin, we have Moria, we have for that. We need to keep them off the board until we can make our big plays. This is really unfortunate, though. We've had a very, very poopy hand. You guys don't think I was a little too toxic about that lethal thing, do you? The good news is I don't have to save this drag below anymore. But I probably do want to save the drag below. But maybe not. I guess I can Abyssal Wave with Lady Darkfan and it's fine. I don't really want to tap here. 
do I? I go up to I can I can tap actually it's fine. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I draw three cards of this. I'm gonna have an impending catastrophe coming up too as well. I don't think I need the card draw, and I think I'd rather have the two health. This deck doesn't really have that much healing outside of a cool, so I need to be kind of careful. That's unfortunate. Should ban someone? No, I don't. I don't think I have to ban. They weren't really that rude about it. Yeah, I, I, the, the thing is, I don't think they had. I don't think it was, it was in for. Uh... Okay. So I actually hit a minion here. Do I want a grimoire to kill this two two? I don't think so. I think I take the two damage. Although they are gonna draw, they are gonna draw the saber. I actually do. I do. I do. do it. Thank you for your service. My health is more important, and they're gonna draw the sunken saber here. So this way, I prevent a target for them to actually hit. draw here. I think I rather would draw here. What is taking so long? No. The problem is wherever I put this I guess if it, no it's a four three so I can buff this imp and it's fine. And that way it doesn't die to the sunken saber. They could get like a Leoc or something, but this is fine. It's okay. Coin. Mount Bear. Okay. I think this is probably emergency maneuvers, which is a little not good for me. Um What is taking so long? Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. I could tap or I could draw four. Drawing four seems a bit better. Hmm. I'm feeling kinda of dead. I need a top deck Lady Darkfane. That would be smart. That would be smart. Okay, well, if I top deck Lady Darkfane, we're okay. Maneuvers would be unfortunate. It would be unfortunate. Not much I can do about it. Okay, Lady Darkfin and I won the game. Want to know why they call me Kodo I can tap into it too if I really want to. It's actually more than 113 because I can hit the, their fell rips in there. So it's a 1 and 11 to draw Darkfin. What if I draw the second wave? The second wave isn't quite good enough. It's almost good enough though. It's almost good enough. I'm not sure this matchup's that bad. They just got kind of lucky with two mountain bears after having a good curve. Is it cool? Okay. That is a lot of healing. Is it enough? Is it enough? 
The thing is, I kind of need to keep the Abyssal Wave in the pool so that I'm when I do draw the Dark Vein, I don't die. So I can't really use the Drag Below, but if I do this plus this, I heal for 3, 4, 5, which is 12. I'm up to 28. 10 plus 8, 18, 21. 7 damage kills me. Two of these are spells. That cost 2 and 3. I'm not getting any younger. It's a little yucky. Alternatively, I tap and go for the 1 and 10 for Lady Darkfane. I think I have to YOLO. I don't think I'm in a good enough spot. Yeah, fun kick has a gun. Very cool. Let the ritual of absolution commence. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Do you guys think that that was a good draw? I think that might have been a good draw. Hmm. Some might say it might have been the best draw. Yeah, I'm happy you're here too, Pun Cake. Yeah, I did move for now. It's an interim move until I get a new place though. So now my curses are pretty good. Abyssal Wave clears again. Or I could Zakul and heal. But they can't really do damage from hand, so I think clearing is better. I could also play an Imking or Fom. This deals how much? This deals four, then six, then seven. That's 17, it's not lethal. So I think we just make sure they can't do any damage. I mean, I might as well do this. This is more relevant than this imps, right? Because even if they remove everything, I can Zakul, drag below, and they die. Yeah, this is good. Wow! Look at that. I did not expect to win this game. And lo and behold, we played Tor out. And we got it. I mean, we probably win if we play Zakul last turn, too, just because of uh, how much it heals, but... So, you can still get bonus stars after rank 5 diamond if you have the 11 times bonus. I'll keep the library. Druid means we have to go for tempo. Darkfane seems like it's been doing well so far, but I think I need early tempo before that. Especially when I'm keeping my library to hopefully get some value off of it. Oh my goodness. Um, Wicked Shipment is very good. Flame Imp is very good. Librarian's pretty good. Ah. I see you brought guests. Mm, not quite. Not quite. I could tap on two instead now. I don't think I will, though. I think it's two, then three, then four. Yeah, absolutely. So playing the man on... Spending the man on this now means on turn four when I play this, I get to push two extra damage on my cultist. Which I think is worth it. What, what do I think of the new Jailer Legendary? It's pretty meh. With the current cards we have, it doesn't look very good. It might be playable in something like a druid, but I don't see that being playable in anything else. Uh, we don't really have control decks that can spend 10 mana for something like that. Druid maybe can do it. Only takes oh, no care and death. Okay. I could trade, but uh, I think I like the face more. Five is a lot. It protects three, but I don't think it's worth trading five to protect a potential three next turn. I guess I shouldn't say potential, because it's if I do trade, that 
think that will stick. Yeah, Whirlpool will still kill it. Um, there are some effects that can still kill it. Not many. Not many, but it's not like an auto win. And your opponents can just ignore your board and go face, right? If you have to be a head on board, and if you're head on board, it doesn't matter what one card you play. <laughs> doesn't seem like a great time to play Theotar. They could take an Abyssal Wave, which is kind of annoying. There's not a whole lot I can do about that, unfortunately. There's a little bit I can do about it, actually. So they could take Abyssal Wave and kill a Cultist. But then I could trade off my... I could play the second library, buff the Cultist, and trade off the Imp that already dies to the... The thing. Time grows short. A, this is a very bad thing for me if they take the wave, but we have some counterplay if they do take it. That's unfortunate. And they gave me the worst possible card. Okay, this wasn't very good for me, but that top deck was kind of good for me, huh? this and if they abyss a wave they don't actually remove that much and if they do abyss a wave it clears the board to do this it's fine now we can go mischievous imp buff again and then go for the catastrophe is the catastrophe better or is the uh flaming better here so right now this game's plus four plus four if they go scale of anixia this is eight health one two three four five six there's still six on board it's actually slightly better to flame him because it changes this breakpoint by quite a, an important margin. So it leaves more on board after the scale in many different ways. This is actually a very important distinction. They're dead over two, so I don't need five cards. It's more important to just kill them. The best thing they can do here is scale. The sea floor is treasure. I guess they can silence me with a starfish, but that still leaves so much damage. And I have another fire library coming up next turn. Very nice. Look at that. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Can't win them all. Very well done. Cool. 